All right, everyone. Here we are in uh, sunny San Mateo, California. It's a nice uh, 67 today um, here on in September. And um, we uh, just got a new uh, feature on our Cybertruck. And uh, let's go take a look and uh, read the release notes. And if we scroll down over here, we can see that it's called Vision Auto Park. And your vehicle can now automatically park and parallel park in designated spaces. When you're driving at low speed, your display highlights potential parking spaces. Auto Park shows a square P symbol to suggest a space, but you can choose any highlighted space. To start parking, stop the vehicle, press start, and release the steering wheel so it can move freely. Refer to the owner's manual for detail. All right, so let's try it out. I am going to um, put the car in park. I mean, uh, put a car in drive, and then we'll try it out. I've put it in drive. I'm ready to try it out. Uh, let's see. If, um, I just start going forward. Notice over here on the screen, it has a P. That's this parking spot right here. Then another P. That's the next one. And then another one, etc. All right, I'm going to choose this one. Actually, this is the one highlighted. I'm actually going to choose this one. And then we're going to press start. And now I'm not touching the steering wheel. I'm not touching the accelerator. I'm not touching the brakes. It's just doing it all by itself. It's trying to center it between the two white lines. All right, it's going to go forward a little bit. Now imagine if there were other cars here and pedestrians, it would be paying attention to that. Uh, it has eight cameras, you know, four on the sides. There are two over here in the front. There's one in the back and there's one on the inside. Uh, when when self-driving comes to Cybertruck, you'll be looking at my eyes. And there we go. We're done. And uh, another cool feature here is um, you can see here that we see a 3D space. So we can see the Cybertruck and it's called Visual Assist. So, you know, if I'm driving manually, I can actually see the objects that are around me um, and um, it's very useful. All right, let's uh, take the uh, iPhone camera. And let's go see how it did from the outside. Cybertruck, let me uh, open up the door. For those that haven't seen a Cybertruck yet, let me change here the angle the camera here on the iPhone and you can see it's pretty spacious uh, two in the front over here it's very spacious and then we can see over here in the back plenty of space the seats go up so you can you know store whatever you need there's a little latch over here you can just press the latch and then it goes down and then it'll sit you know five three in the back and then two in the front Let's close up the doors all right and then let's go over here and check there's a button here if I press it once the tonneau opens this is a full bed um, if I open the trailer over here I can easily put two by fours in here uh, do all kinds of things right now I have some bins in the back um, they're great for tools and they're also great when you're doing road trips to store all kinds of things. And there's a cargo divider right there, a vault cargo divider. Uh, I can also uh, press the button to um, go a little bit at a time. It's very useful sometimes when we have, you know, packages and we kind of want to uh, make sure that, you know, they're in place and that they don't move. Here's the back of the Cybertruck. We put in a cool Cybertruck uh, sticker, a little Tesla sticker in the back over there. Let's go back from here. Here's another cool feature. If I just stand in front of the frunk, there are three beeps. And as long as I have my phone, it'll just open it up automatically. I didn't touch anything. Great if you have packages or, you know, things like that. Let's close it up. And let's go here. And there we go. And then let's double check how it parked. And it did really well, right in the middle of the white lines. You know, better than me. 
<laughs> most times. All right. And that's what it's all about. Let's go, Tesla. <laughs>